Hi there, I'm Pete Scargill. Hopefully if you've got this far you'll have already done some stuff, you'll have had a look at the uh, blog and uh, this is all about the Orange Pi PC getting it to work with Debian and installing some stuff that, that I like to use that I, I hope you'll find useful. Um, so with luck you will have installed a particular version of Debian on the Orange Pi PC. You will have um, rebooted you will have expanded the uh, partition. You will have installed and run my script and rebooted, and you're ready to actually do something. Uh, if you've done all that, let's get on and have a look. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to use WinSCP to access the Orange Pi as Orange Pi, username Orange Pi, password Orange Pi. And here we go. All right, so you'll notice you're in uh, Home Orange Pie. Uh, obviously, you can do things like open up a terminal and talk to the Orange Pie itself. Um, most of the time, I recommend that you use Orange Pie. You don't look at things like root. Uh, however, this installation uh, will allow remote access with root. And the way you do that is you just say sudo password uh, root, and it will ask you for your Orange Pi password, which is Orange Pi, and then it will ask you for the root password. You can then um, log in as we have done here, but as root. Uh, the only reason you might need to do that is to write certain files, but I recommend that generally speaking you stay as user Orange Pi. So let's see, what can we do with ins installation as it is? So we're going to pull up a browser, Google Chrome in this case, and we're simply going to go to Orange Pi. That would normally come up with the uh, an Apache default page. I've been in there and, and changed that, which is why I made reference to root, because as Orange Pi user, you can't just drop files in there. Um, the place to actually get to those is www.html. You can overwrite some files in there, suggest you don't touch PHP uh, light admin. So I've uh, dropped some stuff in there, which lets me um, gives me a better home page. All right, go back to the browser. So amongst the things installed are um, SQLite, in PHP Lite Admin, the way you get to PHP Lite Admin is Orange Pi uh, slash PHP Lite Admin. And uh, that would normally ask you for a login, but I was just in there before. Um, and as you can see, there are some basic databases set up. You can just delete those if they're of no interest to you. And this is a really good environment for messing about with um, SQL. So another thing you can do is you can go orange pi colon 10,000. You'll be asked for admin and password, which you set up when you were doing the installation. And you are in um, webmin, which allows you to do all sorts of stuff, which I'm not going to go into here. Um, but uh, there you go, 26% CPU, 18% of real memory use, 31% of disk space. Uh, yours might, might not look like this because I went into change language and theme and I set the, um, I set the theme to authentic, personal choice authentic. Um, uh, I just like that because it's a nice clean theme. Uh, right, we already know that um, Mosquito is running. Now, how can I prove that Mosquito is running? I can pull this up and I can make a configuration. Uh, we're going to make a new configuration, which we're going to call Orange Pie. That will have a username and password, which will be 
admin and whatever you used as a password. Apply. And open the connection. And there you go. As you can see, it's green. So um, MQTT is up and running. The most important one of the lot, probably 1880, is Node Red. And there we have Node Red. Now, there's one thing that we um, have set up here, particularly which is serial, and I'll show you how to access the serial. Serial port, S3 is the one to use. And when we deploy, I think you'll find that we have access to S3. Now, simple way to use, S, uh, use that, it just so happens that I have a couple of wires shorted on S3. In other words, the input and the output on the connector, I've got them shorted together. So I can take serial, fasten that to the same serial, debug, fasten that to there. And if we have a look at debug, if we punch the timestamp in there, we'll see absolutely bugger all coming out of. I know what I've done wrong. Split it. Oh, there's no carriage returns in there. Uh, after a timeout of, say, 100 milliseconds. Whew. A bit worried there for a second. So there's my timestamp going out the serial, across the wire, back in, and coming out as a debug message. So that's your serial uh, working. Uh, notice a, a recent improvement in Node Red. You can now adjust the position. If you hold the Shift key down when you're doing that, you can adjust the nodes to precise locations, and it will actually let you deploy just those physical uh, positional changes, which is really nice. So there you are, there's your first uh, use of Node Red. So what have we got? We've got um, Apache, I've shown you PHP Lite Admin, I've shown you Webmin, I've shown you uh, Node Red SQL Database. That's about it. Okay, enjoy.